Hey friend, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video to my amazing supporters. Thank you guys so much for all of your amazing, amazing support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Another thing I got to start doing because I noticed that I don't do that. I got to introduce myself. So, <laughs> cause, um, I've had people call me like Mora. That's my last name. If y'all didn't know, my name is Christina. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to start like, uh, introducing myself like in, um, the introduction of my video so that y'all could know my name and know who I am. Um, so yeah, today is Tuesday, October 11th. It's currently 3.57 p.m. And as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I am going to do another get ready with me video because y'all loved the last one. And I swear y'all, I've been trying to do another one since, but whenever I'm getting ready, I have this bad habit of, I calculate the exact amount of time it takes for me to get ready and I use that time like to the second. So like trying to incorporate filming and getting ready is a challenge for me, especially like when I'm really, really like going somewhere, it's hard. So I'm gonna do my best to keep like doing get ready with me videos, but bear with me y'all and just be patient. So I'm gonna get ready, I'm already showered or whatever. I got this little fit on, I'm about to show y'all my outfit. Um, so I just got like a summer dress on, something simple, some slides or whatnot. Cause for now, I'm gonna be in the house just filming. And of course, when I'm filming, I still want to look presentable. So that aside, um, I'm about to lay my baby here. I'm about to put some makeup on. I got my jewelry already out for this outfit. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk to y'all. Yes, y'all got it right. So I'm gonna be talking to y'all about self-love self-care and setting boundaries okay i hope this will be able to help y'all i hope this will be able to inspire y'all so while i'm talking let me get my edge control brush let me get the thing thing that i use for my edges so yeah um i want to talk to y'all about like the importance of like self-care self-love and setting boundaries um because i feel like it's very important and sometimes like you don't you don't know what you don't know and you can't be mad at yourself for what you don't know especially if you haven't been taught or if i don't know if it's not something that has been like brought to your attention so in this video by the way i'm gonna be referencing oops i'm gonna be referencing this book called self-love this is a book that i was reading um it's a workbook for women i'm gonna put the link in the description box i got it from amazon um, this social media influencer, y'all know her, I love her, Aaliyah J. Um, she talked about it probably like a year ago, I think, in one of her videos. Or even if she didn't talk about it, I know for sure she like posted it on her Instagram at least twice. And I was like, baby, I need to go get that because I feel like women, at least men too, I'm not even gonna lie, men to our age, like you struggle with self-love. You struggle with caring about yourself. And the reason why I listed it as like two different things, because there is a difference between loving yourself and a difference between caring about yourself. And a lot of people might not know that there is a difference, but trust and believe me when I tell y'all, there is a difference with loving yourself and caring about yourself so i'm gonna start off with caring about yourself i feel like caring about yourself is having good hygiene is you making sure that you know you groom yourself nicely you maintain yourself you keep your hair done neatly i'm not saying like you got to go to a hairdresser and have your hair professionally done but know how to take care of your hair if it's slicking it back in a ponytail putting it in a nice little bun just getting a simple little haircut for my guys or getting a little shape up or whatever for my guys guys whatever it is like those little things to me are a form of self-care another major major form of self-care that I feel like is important um my husband said like he picked this up from me because he never used to understand why I used to do it when we got married but y'all 
I lotion like my whole entire body like my armpits everything you could think of I literally lotion everything like make sure that because to me like when one part of your body is dry and the other part is hydrated I just can't get with that but even lotion and even something as simple as lotioning yourself is a form of caring about yourself when I was younger I never used to lotion I used to hate lotioning my skin used to crack used to dry and then one of my cousins um baby moms she told me one day she was like you're so beautiful like you should take care of your skin make sure you lotion your skin all that stuff and then I think at this time um i wasn't living with my mom as i told y'all one time i used to live with my aunties and i never used to lotion my skin and then when i finally lived with my mom she started like making sure that i lotion my skin and stuff and she would buy um she would buy me like a vino to restore my skin um i started using corel lotion and stuff so you not lotioning your skin you could damage your skin over time so again that is a form of self-care it is sometimes it's the little things that's a form of self-care people think that self-care is like going out to get your nails done getting a pedicure all this expensive lavish luxurious stuff nothing wrong with you still taking care of yourself even if you don't have all that money to spend like on expensive self-care if you know what i mean so um yeah let me get my sticky note because i wrote some of this stuff down because sometimes i film a video and i'm like oh i forgot to say this forgot to say that so i started writing stuff down or whatnot but um yeah having good hygiene lotion in your skin maintaining yourself always making sure you just carry yourself good y'all carry yourself clean you don't gotta wear like the most expensive stuff but just carry yourself clean neat don't be all dirty and all that stuff like to me cleanliness is a form of like self-care like to me how much you clean yourself and carry yourself like good hygiene wise that's a way of you being like I care about myself you know what I'm saying making sure you're eating properly that's a form of self-care making sure you're not overeating that's also a form of self-care because I used to struggle with overeating to be all like just eating and eating and eating and eating and then you know I got out of shape and stuff I didn't start liking my appearance and all those things so little like self-care is a big topic so now I'm gonna move on to that because I've touched on that like in one of my self-care videos already and I want to talk about self-love y'all like just love yourself just love yourself y'all like this is so big like this is one area of my life that I've truly like come a long way in is loving myself y'all and I know it's hard to believe but there was a time I didn't truly like love myself if I may say like and I know like a lot of people can relate to this young girls girls women my age um teenagers like different people could definitely to definitely can relate to this that like self-love is important but it's also not easy you know um and it's not easy sometimes because i don't know i feel like it's not a thing that's really taught if that makes sense like it's something that you kind of have to go out and find yourself and figure out how to do yourself if that makes sense so um self-love is like I don't know it's so much I can say about it but I'm gonna talk about it um I started like this self-love journey I would say last all right so I started this self-love journey December of 2021 um that was when I bought that book off of Amazon and I started reading it and when I tell y'all that book was like helpful it was eye-opening it was like life-changing for me y'all it was and I highly recommend anybody that wants to like go on like a self-love journey um I definitely recommend reading that book because it will definitely definitely help you um if that makes sense it will definitely help you because as I'm saying like I feel like self-love is something that women struggle with men struggle with as well um and it's not an easy thing to do and um the first part of self-love i want to talk about is like believing in yourself and sometimes it's the hardest thing to do 
but you can do it i feel like believing in yourself if you want to learn how to believe in yourself it starts with getting to know yourself and one of the things i did to get better at believing in myself because i feel like i was surrounded by a lot of people that believed in me more than i believed in myself and one of the ways that i came to like learn to just believe in myself is I wrote down like what are my God-given talents and abilities and I know what my God-given talents and abilities are now like I personally believe that every single human being like God gave them special gifts he gave them special special talents he gave them special abilities and once you identify what they are and you know what they are it makes it so much easier to just believe in yourself and for example let's say all right one of my god-given talents is i know that i'm beautiful like that's a gift that god has given me like naturally i am beautiful so if i wanted to become a model I believe I have everything it takes to become a model because it's what God has given me but before me identifying that in myself and believing in myself to that extent um, I would have never thought like okay I could be a model or anything like that. why because I didn't believe in myself you know what I'm saying so believe in yourself and the way you get to build belief in yourself like I'm saying identify what is the talents what is the gifts that god has given you what is unique about you what's different about you what's special about you what's common in you that might not be common in other people if that makes sense so that's like one of the things that um i wanted to touch on is like believing in yourself it's not easy but you have to take time and put in the effort to do it um the next thing um as far as self-love is concerned is accepting yourself y'all accepting yourself is like one of the hardest things to do and when i say accept yourself meaning you know okay this is not my strongest this is my weakness and you can accept that in yourself you could know like okay this is my strength and you can accept that in yourself knowing that okay my strength is different from someone else's strength my weakness is different from someone else's weakness and still be able to love yourself still be able to accept yourself still be able to believe in yourself in spite of your weaknesses in spite of you being different from someone else so that's another part of self-love and one way i've come to accept myself is like sitting down and just writing out okay these are my strengths these are my weaknesses knowing okay this is a weakness that i can work on this is a weakness that like it's going to take me longer to work on but i could still work on it if that makes sense y'all following me here yeah so um believing in yourself i feel like that's a part of self-love accepting yourself that's a part of self-love um another one is talking kindly to yourself y'all this is something i also struggled with a lot of us are like mean to ourselves like if you could hear and i could speak for myself this is the old me i'm referring to if you could hear like the way i used to talk to myself the way that i used to deal with myself you would be like what is wrong with her and i feel like that's a lot of us like we're so mean to ourselves we're so hard on ourselves sometimes people are nicer to us than we are to ourselves sometimes people compliment us more than we compliment ourselves and that was something that i had to learn to do is learn to compliment myself learn to talk nicer to myself learn to tell myself like you that girl like learn to tell myself like yes you're going through it right now in this area of your life but it's not always going to be like that learning to tell myself like you have what it takes to get through this you have what it takes to become this and even more like learning to just speak positive to myself in addition to speaking kindly to myself sometimes i feel like we believe the negative things that people tell us about ourselves more than we believe the positive things y'all and that is a dirty shame that is bad like if you are watching this video and i'm saying this because this used to be me y'all i feel like i used to believe the negative things that i told myself the negative things people said about me more than i believed the positive and i've grown so much in loving myself and accepting myself and believing myself 
believing in myself that I started taking the positive things that people say about me and just believing it more, reminding myself of it more. Like, um, I think I've said this in a few of my videos, but like growing up, I did not always think I was beautiful. It took me a long time to believe that, to accept that, but I remind myself of that. Like why I've breaking past being shy um, now, like even more is because someone told me they were like, you know, I told them like, oh my God, like I'm shy. I'm scared to do this. I'm scared to do that. And they just looked at me one day and they were like, you're too beautiful to be shy. Like people want to hear you. People want to see you. Like you got to stop hiding. Like you're too beautiful for that. And one day I just made a decision to change um, to change and start believing that and start telling myself that so sometimes if I find myself getting shy sometimes if I find myself getting like um where I want to just like crawl back into like my old shell of hiding not wanting to be seen not wanting to be heard I remind myself like girl you is too beautiful for that you know don't don't fall victim to that you know and it's it can be hard but it's doable so start believing the positive things that people tell you about yourself and start listening to that positive voice in your head and start reinforcing those positive things um to yourself that people tell you like that is like key um, when it comes to like self-love when it comes to like self-care and things like that is you have to like start believing the positive things that people say about you and you know just believe those positive things when it comes to yourself um the other thing that i want to talk about is forgiving yourself y'all and this is a big 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 one because um sometimes we do stuff right sometimes we can do stuff to people sometimes we can do stuff to ourselves and we have a really hard time like forgiving ourselves for doing whatever it is that we did to ourselves and if you're watching this video take time to sit down with yourself and oops take time to sit down with yourself and forgive yourself like understand that it's okay to make mistakes it's okay that you're not gonna be perfect in your decisions and whatever it is that you are um, doing like and just learn to forgive yourself sometimes I feel like we beat up on ourselves for certain things more than we should forgetting that we are human it's kind of hard like doing my brows while I'm talking to y'all I'm gonna let y'all hold on for one second. Because as I'm talking, my eyebrows are raising, so it's kind of hard. But, um, we gonna get it right, y'all. Hold on. Especially because I talk with my hands, so I think my hands are, like, tempted to do more than it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah so back to what i was saying um about like forgiving yourself learning to like love yourself learning to be more patient learning to be more kind with yourself like sometimes you have to just be okay with the fact that you are going to make mistakes you're not always going to make the most perfect decisions and i suggest like this is one of the things i also had to do sit down and identify the things within yourself that you know you haven't forgiven yourself for that you should forgive yourself for um like for me uh, i could be transparent with y'all one of the things that i've had a hard time like once upon a time forgiving myself for is not accepting the fact sooner that I am beautiful. People told me all the time, my mom used to be like, I don't understand why you're not confident in yourself, why you don't think you're beautiful, all this stuff. Like, she told me all of that all the time. But I had to sit down and come to that realization for myself and do that work myself, you know? And it's the same thing with forgiving yourself. Like, people can forgive you like you could do something to somebody and they could forgive you but if you don't forgive yourself it doesn't matter it doesn't mean anything people forgiving you is even less 
to me is a little less it's more important for you to forgive yourself than people um forgiving you that's how i look at it it really is um because you could someone you could tell somebody hey i'm sorry that i did this to, to you and they were like you know what i forgive you it's cool they're still friends with you they're still good with you they're still being nice to you they buy you birthday gifts you go out to eat you go out for dinner all this stuff but if you're still carrying that guilt if you're still like walking around being like you know, I feel so bad that I did that. I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm a piece of crap for doing that. You know, I deserve to rot in hell for doing that. Like, if you're beating up on yourself, that's going to weigh more on you than someone else, like, beating up on you. You know what I'm saying? So forgive yourself. Um, that's something that I also had to learn to do. Be compassionate to yourself. This is similar to what I was saying about me learning to be nicer, nicer to yourself. Um, it's not easy, but you have to do it. I'm real. I realize like you have to be compassionate on yourself. Like before when I used to make mistakes, I used to like look at myself like, how could you do that? You know, like how dare you? But then I realized I'm human. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a human being. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not going to make the perfect choices, the perfect decision every single time you know what i'm saying so that's a part of like forgiving yourself is accepting the fact that you are human and as humans like we're created in a way where we naturally make mistakes you know so be more compassionate to yourself when you make mistakes learn to be like okay you know what i didn't mean to do that and let it go move on from it don't keep dwelling on it don't keep thinking about it because that was like I said, that used to be one of my biggest mistakes. Like when I made mistakes, I could dwell on it for days. I could hold on it to it for a long time. But then I learned that keeps you back more than anything else. Um, and the other thing that I want to talk about concerning self-love is embracing who you are. Learning that, okay, this is my personality. This is who I am. And just embrace it. Like seriously embrace it. That's something that I've also come to learn to do because I think that was a part of me being shy is I was too afraid to embrace who I was but now that I'm okay with who I am and I freaking love who I am like I'm okay with embracing who I am sometimes I'm loud if you know me sometimes I'm quiet I don't feel like talking I just feel like listening you know what I'm And I'm just like, that's just me, you know? And I learned to just be okay with the fact that that's me, that's who I am, that's who I, I enjoy being, you know? And it might not be how someone else is, but that's okay. Everybody wasn't born or created to, to be the same, if that makes sense. We're all created different. We're all created to be unique. We're all created to be special you know so be who you are embrace who you are don't be scared to be who you are i know sometimes it's easy to worry about what others are gonna think but sometimes you can't worry about what other people are gonna think you just gotta know that you're created to be special and to be different so the last um topic i'm gonna touch on is setting boundaries um setting boundaries oh my god that's a big one for me because that was something that i really had to learn how to do um most of y'all probably don't know this about me but <laughs> i have a therapist and um i was sitting down and i was talking to him one day and He's the one that really like pushed me and helped me to set boundaries because one day I was, um, I was, someone asked me to do something and I told them no and they made me feel guilty for not, I mean guilty for saying no to the point where like I cried about it and I cried and then I called my therapist and they were like we're going to talk about this and then I met up with them we talked about it and when we talked about it they were like you have a right to say no and this conversation literally changed my life and helped me to become the person that i am today they explained to me that i have a right to say no and i don't have to feel guilty for saying no and once i accepted that once i understood that 
I started becoming 10 times more comfortable saying no like a lot of people were so used to me just being super nice always saying yes for everything putting myself last and things like that but I've learned that you know you have to learn to preserve some stuff for yourself um, because I used to give away so much to where I didn't have anything else left for myself. I didn't have anything else left for the people that I loved because other people would just come and just take and did not care, you know, but I had to learn like, okay, if I'm, if I go to somebody else's house and help them clean all day, every day, just help them clean. Even if it's not all day, every day, let's say I spend two hours helping somebody else clean their house. That's taking up my time. That's taking up my energy. I have other things to do. Where am I going to find the time, the strength, and the energy to come home and clean my own house? You get what I'm saying? Like stuff like that I had to learn to know my limit, to know my boundaries, and to be comfortable with saying no. So back to the story of with my therapist where he was telling me like, you have a right to say no. And it's your God-given responsibility to say no. Yes, you can help people. Yes, you can do for people. But once you feel like they're becoming entitled, once you feel like they're making it like you have to say yes, then that's when you really have to be like, okay, I'm not doing this. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I had to do. Like, because I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of entitled people around me where if I say no, they took it personal. It's like, I'm supposed to say yes. They want to make me feel bad for saying no. But I had to come to the understanding that it's okay to say no. If we're friends after that, if we're family after that, cool. If we're not, still cool because I need myself you know what I'm saying that's something that I had to come to realize that's something that I had to come to understand is that I also need myself my husband also needs me I can't go to somebody's house help them cook take care of them and their family and then when I come home I got nothing left to give my family no and that's something that I had to learn that people are selfish people some people only care about themselves they don't care to have to give you anything or have to offer you anything they only care about what they can get from you and I had to learn as a form of self-love to not spend a lot of time with those people you know so um I don't want this video to be too much longer I'm almost done doing my makeup I just um I'm not going to put on eyeshadow I don't want to I don't think or I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put on a little bit y'all it's hard for me to talk and do stuff at the same time because I talk with my hands and I'm very passionate when I talk so it can be hard to talk and film at the same time but um yeah that's my look my brows are done my eyes I don't feel like finishing because I don't want this video to be too long but I feel like this is such a good topic it's such a juicy topic um and y'all loved my last get ready with me video so I don't know I'll I'm gonna finish um putting on like a little bit of eyeshadow and then mascara and then wrap it up but yeah like you just have to understand that people are naturally selfish um and you got to learn to be selfish back, but in a healthy way where you create boundaries, where you set boundaries. Like I told y'all, once my therapist told me that um, I have a right to say no and it's my responsibility to say no because he can't say no for me. My husband can't say no for me. Nobody can say no for me but me. I had to accept that responsibility and be okay with this. So if you're a person like me that's, you know, super nice and you love doing for other people and love sharing and love being nice and stuff, set boundaries. It's okay to set boundaries. And if people treat you different after that, if people try to make you feel less than after that, well, forget them. And you don't need those people around you. You need to remove those people from around you because they're not healthy for you. They are toxic. And just stop spending time with people like that because that's what I did. I felt like I haven't had to do that with anybody because I also found out that people still genuinely love me for me even if they can't continue to take advantage of me don't get me wrong there are some people in the beginning they start treating you different and start acting funny because you're not letting them take advantage of you anymore but that aside those people still usually end up coming back around anyway 
but yeah learn to set boundaries y'all learn to say no it's okay to say no don't feel guilty for saying no that's your responsibility to say no um nobody else could do it for you but you and that's the realization that i had to come to that's the realization that i had to accept is that no one else can say no for me but me so i think that wraps up the topics of this video there's so much more I could say there's so much more I could get into but I'm gonna save it for another video I'm gonna put my mascara on um, do a little bit of like lip liner and stuff like that oops do a little bit of lip liner and um, do my satin spray and stuff but i hope y'all enjoy this video don't be afraid to comment below what other topics and stuff like that that y'all want me to talk about um because y'all know i like talking sometimes <laughs> but yeah don't be scared to comment below sometimes i feel like my supporters are scared to comment below which i'm not sure why maybe it's my fault but I don't know don't be scared to comment below y'all that's the only way I can know who's watching what videos sometimes it's, I can't see who watches what videos that's the reality um, of it so I want to talk about stuff that's like engaging to y'all that is interesting to y'all that's helpful to y'all that is motivating to y'all um, yeah where's my mascara yeah, so I'm cutting this video off here and I guess I'll just come back when I'm done. Alright, so my satin spray and then this video is a wrap. Ooh. I hope y'all like this look. And that's all I have for y'all. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope y'all like the finished look, the finished product. And I will see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great.